It's very interesting because when we often talk about the tabernacle or the temple, we tend to think of what's common and familiar to us, a church. And uh, even as uh, church architecture developed in the early years of Christianity, it often developed along the same model of the temple. But they really are very different things and uh, they're used in very different ways. Uh, the church is a gathering place for God's people. Uh, the church, of course, technically is God's people themselves, but the building that they gather in is also called the church. Uh, but the church is, is people, not a building. The temple uh, is not people at all. It is a building, and it's not a place for God's people to gather. It's a place for God to dwell. It's a dwelling place, not a gathering place. When you look at the dimensions of the tabernacle and the temple, you'd find that there's really not a whole lot of room for the public to gather. In fact, the temple and tabernacle are both set up with limited access. That is, they don't let a whole lot of people in for just any reason. Uh, you go into the temple, you have to be um, passed in a sense, qualified in terms of purity to go in and you do your business and you leave. Uh, the business of ritual was what usually took place there. And so the rituals would be performed and people would go. The temple was a place where God dwelt and where the priests uh, served God through the rituals that they performed. People could come and watch the rituals, and I'm sure sometimes they did, but there wasn't a regular gathering time, at least not in the Old Testament period, uh, where people would come and meet and gather and talk and kind of be God's people in community. So in that sense, it's a very different kind of situation. The church and the temple or the tabernacle should not be equated because of that. When we talk about God coming into our worship in church. He's already there because he's part of who we are. God is in that place when his people are in that place. That's not true about the temple or tabernacle. God was there all the time, even if no one else was there. It was God's palace. It was his temple. This is where he dwelt. It was his residence. And so lots of the rituals were designed to make sure that God's residence was treated properly so that he stayed there. So in that sense, we have a very different model between the church and the temple. And we need to recognize that and not blend them together and get lost in all of that.